Check back in when we get further down the road. Bye. coming up I cannot believe we're about to go there here in Tennessee did y'all see it I saw it yeah we're going to Bucky's <laughs> in Tennessee <Whoa. laughs> yeah that's not an itty bitty puny one babe that's a legit one Wow, <laughs> I did not expect to see this. All right, just made it to Pigeon Forge. I totally screwed up and did not plan a hotel for tonight. So we're gonna be staying in two different hotels while we're here in Pigeon Forge. Leave it to me. But this is the first one. And I've got to say, my first time here, coming down the strip was pretty cool. I'm excited to get in, get checked in, get in, get settled down, and get out there and start checking out this city or town or whatever this is. So, more to come. Okay, so I have to say that the view off, out of this hotel compared to the last one. I'll put a picture up right here of the view out of the hotel from yesterday compared to this. Uh, yeah, world of difference. So Pigeon Forge is so far uh, making me happy. But we're about to go hit the strip, so I'm excited. All right, so we are walking up to the first thing we're gonna do, which is Alcatraz East, the crime museum. There it is. It's right next to the Margaritaville Hotel, which we are not staying at, it's way too much. And it's right next to that, to the strip. Now, a little backstory on this. Darian found this about three months ago when I first mentioned Tennessee. And I was like, that's on the east side of Tennessee. Do you know how long Tennessee is? But when I looked into it, I was like, done. So we are checking this place out. Right there it is. <laughs> she is so excited. And then tomorrow we're gonna do the Titanic Museum and I think an aquarium. Not really sure, but totally totally excited so we'll see if I can actually show stuff in here if not you know we'll figure it out okay so we just came out of the crime museum she's already in the truck but I tell y'all what that place is awesome there's a lot of history everything about American crime and law enforcement and everything is in that yeah, building so. really cool place I definitely recommend it if you're a crime junkie check that out if you are here ever in Pigeon Forge Tennessee all right, good morning. We are day five, I think, day five. And still in Pigeon Forge, we are getting ready to go to the Titanic Museum. Now, Darian found this one again, pretty much the same time she found the uh, crime museum. So this is one of the two reasons why I decided to modify the trip and come to Pigeon Forge for as long as we're gonna be here. So this should be fun, very educational, I hope. So uh, again, I'll post what I can.
Alright, so there it is. Looks pretty cool on the other side of it. They have an iceberg right where it hit uh, the actual Titanic, so that's kind of cool. And this one cannot stop sneezing in Tennessee. It's like she's allergic to the state, so I don't know. It's kind of funny, but I'm tired of saying bless you. All right, so we just came out of Titanic. She's already in the truck. I will say this is an incredibly interesting exhibit. A lot of actual items from the ship. You can't take photos of anything on the first floor, so all the pictures that I'll post here in a minute are from the second floor. So I recommend coming to this if you want to learn anything about the Titanic that's not in the movie. Come check this place out. It was really, really interesting. A little expensive, but uh, definitely well worth it. Alright, so I totally had to pull off the side of the road, get down here in this river. <laughs> this is so cool. So cool. Let me see what I'm doing here. And I'm sorry I'm looking all over the place. I am not used to having the camera this way. I left my selfie stick at home. Are you vlogging? She made it down here just fine. <laughs> this is so cool. I love Tennessee. Love it. Of course, I'm from Kentucky originally, so this is kind of home to me, this kind of environment. So pretty here. She just asked, how did I get back up here? I climbed. <laughs> I did it. She made it. She made it. <laughs> She's vlogging just like I am too. <laughs> so cool. I know I keep saying so cool, but so cool. All right, so in order to try to keep this video a little shorter than what it, what it is, I just finished the entire thing and realized that I didn't do any kind of prep for the aquarium. So I'm deleting the entire aquarium there in Gatlinburg. I will say, go check that thing out. Absolutely amazing. There's a tunnel that runs under this massive aquarium that is, I think, a football field long and it twists and turns and there's sharks and all kinds of stuff. Absolutely an amazing aquarium there in Gatlinburg. Uh, go check that one out if you're there. But I'm going to keep this rolling along. I filmed a lot of driving portions, so I've cut a lot of that out. And this is still just under a 30 minute video. Uh, I didn't want it to be that long, but there are certain things I definitely wanted to put in here. And um, if nothing else, you get to see where Elvis's uh, birthplace was and or is. For the very end of the video, I'm not going to do a, a send off. I kind of do one as we're coming home. Uh, I totally forgot to record us pulling into the driveway because it was a 14-hour day, and I was just wore out. But Everyone, if you're still watching at this point, thank you for watching this video. Darian and I had an absolute blast those eight days on the road. And if nothing else, this is just something for her to be able to look back on years down the road and remember uh, this week of being just with her and her dad. So uh, everyone, thank you all for watching. And again, let's, uh, let's continue because now we're heading to Atlanta. All right, day six, and we are leaving Pigeon Forge. It is all behind us. Well, we're sort of still in it, but check out the bush right now. Look at how beautiful the Smoky Mountains are. Y'all see that? I mean, of course, that giant tree is in the way, but... <laughs> Bless you. Yeah, it's on film. <laughs> Look at how beautiful that is. I mean, and you can't even see the mountains over here, but, man, it's just gorgeous here. But anyway, we are on our way to South Carolina to see a friend I served with for lunch and then on to Atlanta. So, we will check in on the road. You got anything for this morning? <laughs> Once I turn the camera off, it'll be nonstop. Stop it.
<laughs> Just kidding. That state line came up out of nowhere. So now we're in North Carolina. She's asleep, but we're out of Tennessee into North Kakalaki. And very, very, very pretty out here in this part of the country. So beautiful. Okay, so we just crossed into South Carolina, literally came around a bend and there was a state line. No warning, no heads up, kind of annoyed. Like, what is with these states? But anyway, she's awake now, so that's good. I'm not talking to myself. All right, so we're in South Carolina. I'm gonna stop here at the Cracker Barrel, see a guy I served with when I was in the Army. Actually, my last duty station was Fort Drum. Haven't seen him since 2012, 2011 actually. So this is kind of one cool thing about being in the military is you can run into people that you served with, served worth, served with all over the country. So that's what we're gonna do here. And then we'll get back on the road for Atlanta. <laughs> yes, the peach state. All right, so we're not missing the Georgia state line. Um, beautiful river or lake now. We're in Georgia, the peach state. Woo -woo! Woo -woo. <laughs> All right, so we're on the outskirts of Atlanta, and it's been like this for like, I don't even know, 15 minutes? Yeah. I think there's really a lot to show about this area of Georgia. It's been pretty flat, nothing spectacular, but man, this traffic sucks. So we've just been driving. I've been not happy with all this traffic, but it is what it is, I guess, right? I just didn't expect all this. What'd you, what'd you expect? Yep, <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> Lots of cars. What? Cars to be on the road? Yeah, that's what I expected. That's what she expected. You're not going to be in it? All right. All right, so we're in Atlanta. We are heading to the Braves game. Are we still on? All right, so we've never been to the Atlanta Stadium here. Super excited. Hope it's a good game. The last two Mets Braves games have been really good. Last year, her and I went to the Miami game in Miami, so that was fun. This year, we're hitting Atlanta, so we'll check in later. Overtime, haha. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, just kidding. Extra innings. This has been a heck of a game. It's 10-10. Absolutely nuts. What do you think? Mississippi. In fact, I think is that the is that the state line right there? I can't see it. No. Oh, here we go. Flipping around. Yep. Got it. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. We are now in Mississippi. Woo! -hoo! All right. So that means we're about 30 minutes, maybe a little less. No. Both look like bumps, it's all good. Uh, I think we're about 30 minutes from Tupelo, so we're gonna check out again, like I said, Elvis's birthplace, and then we'll be back on the road and all in butt home. So, this trip is coming to an end, sadly, but uh, it's been great with one last stop to go. We will check in shortly. So we're walking up right now to the birthplace of Elvis Aaron Presley. Totally excited about this. I've always wanted to see this house. Because I've seen Lincoln's birthplace up in Kentucky. And I just think it's really cool to be able to see Elvis. So let me flip this around. Darian's already hauling butt up here. But uh, let me flip this around. So there she is. As you can see, try to keep these feet. As you can see, there it is right there. I got that goofball in the in the frame. But look, look at how small this little house is. I mean, that's it. They called these a shotgun house back in the day because you could shoot a shotgun from the front porch and go out the back. But that's it. That's Elvis's birth home. I'm going. So we're about to walk in and check it out. Huh? Where are the tickets? Yeah, let's go. Uh, they did all 
det sånn matkott eller et eller annet? Nei, toalett, toalett. <laughs> okay, so literally I just showed you there's two rooms in this house. What do you think of this? I mean, it's really cool. It's really small. And to think that this is how he lived, and not just him, obviously. Everyone back in the 30s lived like this down here. It's just amazing to me. Let me flip this back around. Very small house, but very interesting to see. Oh, Darian just pointed out his high chair. That's pretty cool. But yeah, very, very small, small house. I mean, right there's the room, so the front door. Really cool. And now we're walking out. So, I mean, literally, that's how small it is. But really cool experience. We're going to walk around, see what else we can see here. Uh, I think this is definitely a, w a cool way to end our trip our Elvis experience. I mean, we started in Memphis. We're ending here in Mississippi where he began. So, uh, it's really cool. What do you think of this whole thing? The whole trip, everything. Fun. Yeah? Yeah. Are you happy to have done it? Are you happy to have come on it? I just not. Well, I'm looking at everywhere else other than you, goofball. All right, cool. So, let's look around. I just nodded. Mm -hmm. Well, if you ask me a question, I thought you'd be paying attention to my answer. Mm -hmm. Oh, stop. <laughs> okay, so I'm not sure if I've got this the first time, but I love that little chair on the front porch. But again, that's the whole house. Just blows my mind. This is really cool. It's a statue, obviously, of Elvis at the very top of this whole complex. So Elvis's house that he was born in is on the other side of this building right here. So we came all the way up here to see this big old statue of the king. It's really cool. But I think, but I think this is the end of our Elvis vacation. Starting right here, where he all where it all began. For him, right down there. So, when I sign off right here, the rest of the video is going to be us driving home, getting back to the house. So, had a great time with this one, I guess. Just kidding. But uh, thank you all for watching. The rest of this video is going to be pretty much music and outtakes of what we see on the way home so uh yeah So we just went through Vicksburg, Mississippi. We're about to enter Louisiana somewhere up here. So let me flip this thing back around. Check this out. We're going across the Mississippi again. Look at that old bridge over there. How cool is that? This is really, really cool. I love old bridges. Oh, here we go. Louisiana, right there. All right, we are in Louisiana now, finally. One more state to go. <laughs> so I think we've been in the truck for nine hours today, I think. And we still have, I don't even know, another six hours to go, I think, five hours. So the whole trip, driving, not including all the local driving, but like going from place to place, it's going to be about 33 hours by the time I pull into the driveway from when we left. So 
a lot of driving is definitely a road trip like a for real road trip but uh, totally fun I'm just kind of over the driving today my back is not having this but it's all good all good and hey did y'all notice that really cool McDonald's that I just showed if not go back a little bit and check that thing out oh oh ah! check it out now that's a cool sign I guess now we're officially in Louisiana. Is that what you're saying? What? What'd you say? So now we're officially in Louisiana. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> anyway. All right, everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we're in Texas. Not yet. Well, the Louisiana one was right back there. I don't know, I guess we're in Texas. But I haven't seen a state sign. So, <laughs> that's very weird, to say the least. I'm very confused. wasn't even a stick. Oh, right here. here. Right there. Oh, I see. There it was. Okay, we're home. Not we'll just home. kidding. No, we're not home. We got three and a half hours more to go, but we're back in Texas, so that's good. Uh, <laughs> are you talking? Yeah. Oh, she's saying stuff. Oh, wait, here's another. Texas gets two signs. Can we have two state lines, please? Okay, so this is the sign I was looking for. Cause this is normal. That other one was kind of cool, though. So, there it is. All right. Tejas. You're at home. State. Home state. Good grief, Darian. It's state. Smell that. Smell that. I don't smell anything. Oh, I'll smell it now. Whatever that is. I don't know. All right, everyone, check in when we get to the house. Uh, about three hours. <laughs> So we've got about two miles and then we're home. So this has been about 14 hours today in the in the truck, about 13 of driving. A uh, very, very tiring day, a lot of rain, a lot of really, really bad weather from basically middle of Louisiana to about 40 minutes ago. So I don't even know, five hours worth of rain and wind and craziness and a lot of good country songs playing but um, we're about to pull in I want to thank everyone for watching I want to thank my daughter for joining me on this crazy eight-day road trip and all of our shenanigans you're welcome but uh <laughs> should be thanking me thank you <laughs> oh you're welcome so um, until next time y'all take care God bless get out there and see this country Go on a road trip, enjoy it. Grab a, grab a family member, a friend, whatever. Just go find a small town USA somewhere and explore our amazing, our amazing country. Bye. You didn't even say Shamrock and Harvest Well, are we gardening? <laughs>